Hi guys, welcome to the Real, Real Reviews. So today I'll be unboxing the Helios Umbrella Corporation M4 SBR. So when you open it up, it will come with already foam padding, so that's good. And it will come with a gun, a magazine, some spare BBs, and this Allen wrench, which you use to open the Q, uh, QBS system, which is the quick uh, buffer system, which I'll do uh, another video on how to use it. And then it'll also come with the gun. So, so when you take out the gun, it's pretty heavy. And so originally I was gonna use a RC car battery to uh, run the gun just to test it out. But then I noticed that you can't really put an RC battery car uh, battery in here because it has this little the buffer tube system which will block it. So yeah. So then I so today I'm gonna be using my Titan 11.1 volt battery. Yep. So I also bought e-bike mags but if I were you I wouldn't buy them because they don't work with anything higher than 0.25 gram BBs and they also can't um, run full auto with this gun. So to put lug in the battery, oops. So to plug in the battery, it's a Dean's connector and you just simply line the connector up with the, the male plug and then you just plug it in. And then the MOSFET will make that sound when the battery is plugged in. I also already added a M120 spring in here, so it'll shoot higher FPS. So you kind of just have to push this wires in there. It's a little roomy, just got to fiddle with it a little. So once it's in there, point it in a safe direction, just make sure it shoots. So yes, it shoots. So that's good. So. I'm going to be using 0.3 gram BBs and also 0.2 gram BBs. So I'm going to load them into the Evite um, Banff Max Gen 2 so, I, so you guys can see if it will work. So these are the 0.2 gram BBs. Oh, okay, you also need a speed loader to load these. These are not a high cap mag, so you cannot wind them from the bottom. So that should be enough for now. And then with the other one, I'll load it with the 0.3 gram BBs. Now I'm gonna shoot them. So um, right now I'm gonna shoot the 0.3 gram BBs. Spare BB. So they do lock in though, so you can't pull it out. So now I'm gonna shoot it. You see nothing's coming out. See only like kind of miss feet. And to show you again, see the the BBs do come out, and then once you push it in. You can hear it come out, and then it won't come out. The mag won't come out, and then when you shoot it, nothing comes out. So, so those are with 0.3 gram BBs, and these are with 0.2 gram BBs. So again, you can't pull it out. Okay, and then this is with full auto. And it just stops firing, maybe I'm just out of BBs. Oh, yep, see, I wasn't out of BBs. So right there you could see that it can't full auto, these Banff mags. So I'm gonna be shooting it with the original mag you came in. So I'm gonna be loading this one with first the chest point tubes again. The spring that I originally came with the gun, I'm pretty sure it's either a M100 or M110 because on e-bikes it listed, uh, it said shot for 350 FPS at most. So, now I'm going to be shooting it. Okay, and then this is full auto. So just, you can just give it a little tap on the bottom.
So yep. And then now I'm gonna shoot it with point threes. Making a little mess right now with all these BBs. Oh god. So with the mag that it comes with, it's hard to eject the BBs because it's kind of in there. Also tested with the Evike Banff mags. I took the spring out of this mag and put it in the Evike Gen 2 Banff mags, and it still didn't feed point threes, nor did it feed, um, shoot full auto, sadly. So I'm gonna try to return these Banff mags, and later I already ordered a KWA K120C max, and it came with three on Amazon. So I'll make a video once those come. Should be coming on Tuesday. And these are with point threes. I'm gonna look a little more BBs in there. I was shooting my the gun a little bit earlier, but um, it shot the mo bet, uh, the best with point two five. But I ran out of those BBs before the, I made this video, so. Now this is with point threes. Make sure to put it on safe before you put the mag in, just in case you accidentally press the trigger. And these are with point threes. Huh. Okay, that's weird. So I guess it doesn't feed with point threes either. Nor will it feed with full, uh, full auto. So maybe this gun just can't feed with point three gram BBs. I'm not sure why. If you guys know, can you please comment down in um, my YouTube channel so I can figure out why? So yeah, whenever I Googled it, they said it might be because of the mag spring, but I know that. And they also said it might be the BBs, but it's probably not that either. But it might be, so we'll see. But I'm going to see if it's the mag. So whenever my mags come on Tuesday. But overall, it's the gun's pretty good. It can craft that glass plate. So yeah. So I'm gonna do a quick full auto so you guys can hear how fast it shoots. And also semi. So this is full auto. So it kind of feeds still, but it's uh, it's uh, misfeeding a lot. So it's like it doesn't really shoot. And also double feeds. So I'm gonna full auto test it with a uh, 0.2 gram. Yeah, but that's really strange. I really do not know why you can't feed 0.3 gram BB. I tried a lot of things that the uh, uh, that Google suggested, like make sure your hop-up rubber is completely on the barrel, the inner barrel, and I did check that yesterday and it was completely on. I'll, make, uh, I'll be making videos about how to take the upper receiver off the gun too. The cool thing about this gun is this pullback system, it actually locks down so you can adjust your hop up. And whenever you press this button right here, this the slide thing will close. And then you can just shut it. Yep. So now on to the shooting. So it's in there, you can't pull it out. And then here's semi. Okay, that's weird. Maybe it is a mag issue. Because right there, I was shooting the Evite Banff mags and it wasn't doing that. And right now, it's misfeeding. I mean, not misfeeding, uh, double feeding, and also the FPS is really low. Yeah, you see how the BBs are dropping and then that happens? So that means it's double feeding. So there's other BBs in the chamber. Yeah, you see how the BBs are dropping? So, not that's not a good sign. Google also said that it might be because the BBs, sometimes it 
it has to like go around this curve because it's a mid cap so they also said that that might be the issue so I'll test if that's the issue later yes yeah okay maybe that's why because I think it just went around that curve so there are like I think three curves in here it goes like down the curve so two curves actually Yeah, see how the BBs are dropping? Okay, so now I went over the second curve. Now it's shooting straight again. Now it's out, okay. Okay, we'll test that theory. So right now I'm just gonna load only maybe about, let's just say 10 BBs in there. And then just so it only goes straight down, so. Okay, that should be a street, but not sure. Okay, let's test this. Okay, so it's still doing that. I might have put too many, but not sure. Oh, whoa. Okay, hey, well, my gun just turned into a shotgun right there. <laughs> so, yeah, I I'm not really sure. See, at first this gun was shooting fine, like it was not never miss feeding or double feeding. So I'm not sure what happened to the gun, but I'll try to find that out. If you guys, if you guys can do me a big favor, just please comment down and tell me why this is happening. So yeah, but I'll see if it's the mag issue because I'm getting it the new mags re um like on Tuesday. So yep. So thank you for watching, guys. Bye.